sun path diagrams are used to find the position of the sun with respect to a geographical location on a given time and a given day of the year. These diagrams are used in various applications. Solar energy system planning, architecture, and building energy consumption calculations, are some of them. Imagine that there is a line connecting an observer, and the sun, and this hypothetical line's projection on the earth makes an angle alpha with the north. Also, let's say that the line connecting the observer and the sun makes an angle beta from the horizon. At the sunrise, alpha will be around 90 degrees, since it's somewhere in the east. And the angle beta will start at zero. Beta will then gradually increase as the sun moves up in the sky, and alpha will increase towards south, if the observer is on the northern hemisphere. After the noon, as the sun goes down, the angle beta will decrease, and the angle alpha will increase towards the west. So, at any given time of the day we can say the position of the sun with respect to an observer, using these two angles. For an example, say that at 10 a.m., the alpha and beta are 150 degrees and 30 degrees? We will know exactly how the sun will be positioned with respect to the given location. By the way, these two angles, alpha and beta are termed as azimuth, and altitude. Let's try plotting these two angles. On the x-axis we will have azimuth, and on the y-axis, we will have the altitude. At the sunrise, azimuth around 90, altitude 0. At noon, the azimuth around 180, and altitude at its maximum position, depending on the observer's location, let's say it's 75 degrees here. And at the sunset, azimuth around 270, and altitude again 0. What we've created here, is a sun path diagram. We assume that the observer was on the northern hemisphere, let's see why that is important. People on the northern hemisphere see the sun on the southern the sky, and those who are on the southern hemisphere see the sun in the northern sky. So, if our observer was on the southern hemisphere, we would have seen that the azimuth would decrease and go through zero degrees, which is the north. So far, we have considered the position of the sun for a given single day. This curve will change if we picked a different day. Why is that? We deliberately neglected the fact that the Earth's axis is actually tilted relative its orbit by 23.4 degrees. So, because of this, in the summer, the sun's altitude will increase, and in the winter, it will decrease. This is not all, in the summer, at the sun rise, the azimuth will be lower than 90, that is somewhere in the northeast. As the day progress, it will eventually come towards south, and will finally set somewhere in the northwest, which is higher than 270 degrees. If we plot this in our sun path diagram, it will look something like this. In the winter, the sun rises from southeast, moves along the southern sky, and sets in the southwest. So, the curve will look something like this. In a sun path diagram, you will see that there are a few curves marked with corresponding dates. You will also notice that a certain day in the first half of the year can follow the same curve as a certain day in the second half of the year. It makes sense when we think about the Earth's orbit. Months like October and February will have similar positions on the orbit. However, the corresponding time will change even if dates are on the same curve. That's why we get this H-shaped hour curve instead of a single line. The reason for this is the difference between the solar time and the standard time, which is a matter outside of this video's topic. What we have to keep in mind is that we need to refer to the correct side of the hour curve depending on the date. Okay. Let's try to read a sun path diagram. Let's say that we want to find the sun's position on 21st of October at 10 a.m. We have the curve for 21st October here. And it intersects with the 10 a.m. curve here. We consider right side of the hour curve since it corresponds to our date curve. Normally there is an indication on the diagram on what side of the hour curve to select. If we were reading the February curve here, we would be selecting the other side of the hour curve. Now, we can read out the azimuth and altitude from corresponding axes. The azimuth is about 140 degrees and the altitude is about 37 degrees. There are different types of sun path diagrams. What we looked at so far are called cylindrical, or Cartesian diagrams. This is a stereographic diagram. As you can see, the difference here is that the azimuth is indicated on a circular axis. But it represents the same information. That's it. Hope this video helped you to learn something. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.